Well, good morning, YouTube. It is Sunday, September the 7th. And I already had posted up two videos with uh, on my new Plume Veil 28.5mm RDA. First build I did on it was an extremely hot build. It was a twisted 24 gauge parallel. Um, I, it was too hot, way too hot. So, and I like a hot vape, but this was literally boiling hot. So the second build I did on it, I did a couple of uh, regular macro coils, one inch drill bit, you know, 24 gauge, and it was awesome, very nice. Um, today I am experimenting. I didn't do the wrap on video. I got the wrap successfully here. I am trying this. I'm going to do a single coil on it. Okay, and this build right here is 26 millim or 26 millimeter canthal or 26 gauge, I should say, canthal, four strand parallel. Okay, if you look up close here, I did nine wraps. Okay, so that's 36 strands of wire there. Very nice, actually, and that's on a one eighth as well. Okay, so this is going to be a macro parallel build, four strand parallel. Okay, I already did the burn in. Let's see if I can get a good focus on it. There we go. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Now, if you notice, I did a rip tripper thing here. I went ahead and I put a slant on the, the coil. Okay, I'm going to do a single coil build on this Hattie today and see how she does. Now, the burn. Very nice. Inside out. Outside in when it comes to the cool down. <laughs> now, yeah, this is one long coil. I just want to make sure, yeah, my center post needs to be adjusted just a little bit here. Give me one second. I want to make sure that that coil doesn't tweak in any way. Ah, uh, we're good. We are golden. Let's hit that one more time. It is cool. I am not sure what to expect from this coil. I know it's going to produce a shitload of vapor. I don't know how hot it's going to be, but as you everybody knows, more coil surface, more flavor, more vapor. That's gorgeous. See, what I had to do there is I made sure and get a focus on here. I made sure that the uh, coil wasn't too close to my center post just in case if it decides to flex in a little bit or anything. Come on, focus. I got a nice distance between the, the coil and that center T post. Alright, let's get this baby whipped up. And today, I think I'm going to use my organic cotton. my natural unbleached organic cotton. Okay, this coil shouldn't require a whole lot of wicking. And being that this uh, atomizer has the bottom airflow, we don't want to put a whole lot anyway.
Okay, got our wicked. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and trim it. I'm gonna put a little bit more than Rick Tripper wood on the tail here, just for the fact I'm gonna lay it down in that deck. Rip Tripper would actually just leave the, just a short snub of that tail. But I'm gonna let it lay down in that deck right there, down in that little channel. There's a little channel on the bottom of this atomizer and that juice well. And then I'm gonna take and I'm just gonna wrap and lay this over the top and what this is going to do for me is I can drop through the top and it will work straight down that coil today I'm actually vaping on steam juice peach and berry 80 percent VG so 80 20 mix 6 milligrams of nicotine on the cap it shows you the nicotine level Okay. These are 120 mil jugs. They have specials on steam juice. They, uh, you know, you can get them for about twenty dollars for a 120 mil jug. It's unheard of, right? When you spend, you know, fifteen dollars on a 15 mil bottle of a premium juice, and steam juice is a premium juice. If you ever try it, you will like it. They mostly have the dessert juices, a lot of custards, creams. Vanilla custard, my favorite. This peach and berry is actually really, really good too. Just peaches and berries. Actually, I got this idea from Rip Trippers. He did a plume veil, 22 millimeter build, a 22 millimeter uh, plume veil with the quad strand parallel. I said, well, if he does it on a 22 millimeter, and he used 28 gauge Cantal, I believe he did a 10 wrap as well. I decided, okay, I don't have any 28 gauge. I have 30 gauge, I have 26 gauge. Well, I'll try the 26 gauge. And I did a 9 wrap just so this way it doesn't distort my coil when I lined it up with my post holes. I did a 10 wrap, but it was a little bit long. So I'm, I just reduced it by one wrap. So let's see. This might not be an all day build for me. I don't know. I know it's going to be juice hungry. But I wanted to give it a try. I haven't been able to come up with an extremely satisfying build on this Addy yet. Unlike my IGO W14, the best build I had in there was triple twisted 24 gauge on a 764 drill bit, four wrap, and that is, it is the most perfect build in that atomizer. It's warm, warm to hot vape, not too hot, and it can chuck the cloud. It chucks a nice cloud, and, and when you wick it right, it uh, the juice lasts a long time. I can get about 20 good hits on one, on one dropping session. So let's go ahead and read the ohms on this. I don't even know what it is. And let that cotton soak up a little bit. Don't mind all that noise in the background. It's my dogs and nephews and my wife. Uh -huh. No eating, huh? It looks like my stupid home reader took another dump again. Bear with me one second, YouTube. Let's see if I can get this stupid thing to work again. This, this home meter got a pain in my butt. There is a little pin down in here that I found a little beating to push that center pin out just a tad bit. So 
to make a contact so we're going to get this to work One point six ohms. One point seven ohms. Okay. We're looking at one and a half ohms. So this tells me that my battery life is gonna extend a little bit. All right, folks. Let's Let's the Addy back onto the Stingray. Add a little bit more juice to this and give her a vape. One thing I did notice about this Bloomville, you get a little too much juice in the bottom. And it will leak out the side air holes. So, what I'm going to do here is I got to make sure I line up my center hole, center hole on the sides for the bottom airflow, which lines up. Okay, now I'm going to use a single coil mode here. Hopefully, that coil doesn't hit my Addy, the top cap. Okay, so I got one coil open. The other one is closed off. Let's give it a burn. And here it goes. I don't know what to expect, so don't laugh at me if I choke. Oh, Jaden, you gotta go. Yeah, it's actually not hot. It's actually pretty flavorful. Yeah, it's actually pretty impressive. Now, I only have the side airflow, the cyclops open. And the bottom air flows. I don't have the top open. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the top a little bit and see if that, how that works. Not bad. I like it better with the air, the top air closed. So, anyways, YouTube, that's it for today's video. You have a great weekend and vape on.